Is it Thanksgiving yet? Hey everyone, it's Ryan with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues, and today we're going to be rotisserieing a turkey on the Napoleon Prestige 500 gas grill utilizing a smoke box. Let's get going. So a lot of people like to smoke their Thanksgiving turkeys. It's one of the ways that I love doing them also, but if you don't have a smoker, you can still get that barbecue flavor by utilizing the rotisserie feature on your gas grill and using a smoke box. This smoke box here, we're going to load up with some wood chips throw over the gas burners, it's gonna light this and kind of smolder that wood and give you the smoke flavor that you would be getting in your smoker in the gas grill. So when you're smoking turkey, I like to use fruit woods. Fruit woods give you a nice mild smoke flavor and they really complement the bird well. So today we have a sweet wood mix. The sweet wood mix is gonna have apple, cherry, and maple wood all mixed together. So it's a great combination for this turkey. You soak your wood chips for about a half an hour in water or apple juice or beer and then you're gonna load them into the smoke box here. All right, smoke box is full. We're gonna cap this and put this over the burner. All right, so that's gonna take about 15 minutes to get smoldering and get the smoke kind of going. So while that's heating up, let's get the turkey prepped. All right, so now it's time to season our turkey. I do wanna mention that we did brine this turkey. It's definitely something I recommend for, uh, for any bird really, if, whether it's chicken or turkey. The brining process really helps just lock in a lot of the moisture and a lot of the flavor of the bird, making it really nice and juicy all the way through. So with this turkey, what we did was we did a brine that consisted of a gallon of vegetable broth, a gallon of cold water, a cup of sea salt, a tablespoon of thyme, rosemary, and some garlic. So we had that all in a bucket. You either put it in a bucket, you can put it in a cooler, and you let it go overnight. So this was in the brine for about eight to 10 hours. Um, so that's kind of what you're gonna wanna do to lock in the flavor. So all we're gonna do now is because a lot of that flavor is locked in, is we're gonna season it with our John Henry's turkey seasoning today. So we'll go through that process now. You can kind of see how we do it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna get some seasoning on that breast. So you're gonna wanna pull the skin back a little bit and expose that breast there. You don't wanna rip the skin though, you wanna keep the skin intact. So we're gonna apply a nice amount of seasoning here to that breast. And then we're gonna to try to pull back on the legs, expose some of that meat there, get that seasoning all up in there as well. Now we're gonna fold that back over the breast there. So yeah, you want a nice liberal seasoning on this, get it real good between all the crevices. There's some herbs that go really well with turkey as well. So we have some rosemary here today. So we're gonna stuff the cavity with a little bit of the rosemary sprigs, and then we're gonna slip some in between the, uh, the thighs as well, just to give it a little bit more flavor. That's really gonna add some nice uh, overall seasoning to this bird and a nice aroma to it while it's cooking. All right, so when you're rotisserieing a bird, one of the most important aspects of it is making sure you tie the legs and tie the wings to keep them nice and tight so they're not flopping around on that spit rod. So that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna take our twine here and we're gonna wrap these up. So you're gonna start with the, uh, the drumsticks here. You're gonna cross those over, and then we're gonna tie a knot. Let's just tie that knot up, and then you're good. So when you're rotisserie cooking, you definitely want to put, place a pan underneath of the food. That way it catches all the drippings. Today we're actually gonna kill two birds with one stone. We're putting that pan underneath this turkey, but that pan is gonna have some delicious carrots, potatoes, and onions that are gonna be roasting with our rotisserie turkey today. So the turkey is gonna be seasoning our vegetables. The vegetable aroma is gonna kind of come up and help kind of infuse that into the turkey and enhance that flavor as well. So it's gonna be a great relationship today. All right, so let's get this on the grill. You can see the smoke coming from our smoke box, so we're definitely gonna get some nice flavor. So we're gonna place that right in the center here. And now it's time to put the turkey on. So we have our motor mounted, so we're just gonna slide this right into that motor there. All right, so we got everything set up. We got some good smoke coming from the smoke box now. All we're gonna do next is just turn on our rotisserie back burner. When you are rotisserie cooking, really that's the only burner you wanna use. We do have another burner on today for that smoke box and also to help our vegetables roast, but generally you just wanna use that back burner because the juices of the meat are gonna follow the heat source. So if it's spinning and that heat's on the back of the grill, it's just gonna keep those juices spinning and kind of basing itself with the turkey. So let's get going now. This turkey's gonna take about two and a half to three hours. So 
So our back burner is lit. All right, so everything's going nice here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this go for about an hour, hour and a half. Then I'm gonna come back out here. I'm gonna base it with an herb butter. Basically just got a mixture of butter, garlic, and rosemary. We're gonna baste it uh, probably twice while it cooks. Like I said, this is gonna be about a three hour cook. Um, then we'll uh, carve it up and you'll see how it all turns out. All right, so we're about an hour and a half in right now. So let's take a look. We're gonna wanna base it. So we have an herb butter here. We got some garlic, some rosemary, and some butter. We're gonna base the turkey. Let's see how it looks like. Ooh, see it's already got a nice golden brown color to it. The aroma is incredible. You're definitely getting some of that rosemary coming up, some of the onions from uh, our little veggie platter below. The butter base here is really just gonna kind of crisp up that skin even further. All right, we're gonna take this off. I wish you guys were here to smell this. It smells absolutely incredible. I'm excited to bite into it. So we'll take this off here, just slide it, put it back on our sheet pan. All right, so at this point we've cut our twine. You're gonna wanna remove the rosemary from the cavity of the turkey here. And then you just want this to rest. A, a bird this size, you wanna rest for about 15, 20 minutes at least to allow those juices to redistribute throughout, making it extra juicy. Uh, so we're gonna let this rest here, then we're gonna carve into this and give it a try, I'm stoked. All right, so we've been letting this bird rest for about 20 minutes. Now the size of this turkey was just under 12 pounds. So if you have a larger bird, you might wanna rest it for closer to 25 or 30 minutes, just to allow those juices to redistribute there. Um, but this bird only took us about two hours to do on the rotisserie. So it was super quick. It's gonna have that nice smoke flavor from the smoke box that we use. So this is a great way to do turkeys without cooking it all day long. So let's cut into this breast here. I'm excited to try it. All right, so I'm gonna carve into this breast, but the first thing I'm gonna do is remove this leg. So in order to do that, you're gonna pull it out, kind of cut down. You can see that thigh start to pull away from the breast there. So you just kind of push that down and you have your knife kind of follow. There'll be a joint there. So you just push that down and expose that joint and then just cut straight down from that joint. And that's gonna release the, uh, the thigh and the leg. See how that came off nice and easy there? Super tender. All right, now that our breast is exposed, just gonna cut some slices down the side here. Oh yeah, that looks incredible. Look how juicy that is. Just see those juices dripping from that. All right, let's give this a shot. It looks unbelievable. That's awesome. You know what's cool about this is that it's really picking up that rosemary that we put in there. So right off the bat, you're kind of getting that rosemary herb flavor. Also, you get a little bit of the smokiness from the wood chips that we use in that smoke box. Mm. That brine makes it flavorful all the way through. This is absolutely incredible. You know what, I'm thankful for this turkey. Very thankful. And you'll be thankful for it on Thanksgiving too. So if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to us on YouTube, and follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more barbecue tips and tricks. This is Ryan with Gilbert Fireplaces and Barbecues, where indoor comfort meets outdoor entertaining.